Hi everybody, it's me, the Garlax, and I'm back again. You guys know me as Chino or Artie. I've actually uh, been busy. I know you guys have been asking me to make another video, and I know I'm. I really thank my um, my subscribers. I don't know if I should say fans, but I have a lot of people in San Bernardino, even internationally, especially in Europe and <laughs> Singapore. I think my friends from Singapore. I think my friends from the Philippines, especially Mexico. Muchas gracias. You know, para soportarme, porque, you know, um, tengo mucho digital uh, video game. Perdón, mi español es poquito, pero sí entiendo mucho. Pero I'm just going to say, um, I really thank everybody who goes to my channel and check out my reviews because uh, I make reviews before uh, these guys who have higher end equipment. Because most of the time I just use my cell phone or a, a regular cheap Cybershot camera to make my reviews. Um, I really like uh, um, other other channels who did the Mortal Kombat review in the box. So I, I wanted to be the first one to do the Mortal Kombat 2 in the box. So um, I, I also do reviews before people do it. But now this is, this is a video about an update of my computer. As you can see, this is my computer. It's updated. Yes, this is my tower. Okay. Um, Yes, I know why people are going to say, why do I stick with a square monitor? Because I do need a square monitor. This monitor is really strong, high resolution for its size. So I had a downgrade by size. I used to have a better looking three screen setup. But then I still have my big 32 inch television. And I have a regular Dell monitor uh, molded into my tower. As you can see, it's molded into my tower. It's because I want, when I'm playing my video games, I want to see uh, progress of how much CPU is being used. And I see how much gigahertz that's going on. So it, it's basically more of a, it's a, a side monitor, but I barely use it. But most of the time, I, I, I just keep progress of what's going on on my computer. If anybody's, you know, like how much Ethernet, how much ping, how much memory is being used, etc. As you can see, I got three different drives. This is my Blu-ray, no, 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 this is my DVD burner, CD burner, and this is my Blu-ray, this is nothing but a reader, okay, okay, this is a reader, Blu-ray reading, and DVD, and etc., anything media, this is a DVD RAM, okay, this is not a regular DVD burner, it's a DVD RAM, if I can focus it right, if you can see, it says RAM on it, not ROM. DVD RAM is a uh, is meant for more for uh, legacy purposes. I use it. I still have my zip drive. This is a DVD RAM. Look at that DVD RAM. Um, I actually made a review about it, and it's it's gold and has those little trimming in the back, and you can re-record back and forth. It's like a portable hard drive. So I gotta say, um, I need. I still I still use it. You know, I still I, I, I it's legacy. You know, and me and my Pepsi. Oh. I don't know, everybody has their own gimmick, you know, you guys always see me with a cigarette or, or with Pepsi, and then as you can see, I got two keyboard and mouses, okay, I have a reason why, because um, I'm going to get there, this is my an antenna amplifier, it routes through my roof, because I have one of those rotational antenna, so with the press of a button, if I can't get the reception right, it, you know, like that, or I press the button right there to get an uh, auto reception. Well, most of the time I just press that button instead of doing it manually. So, um, because this is actually a television. It's not a monitor. It's a television. So if I want to watch TV, I go right here. Since I'm in America, I'm using a, it uses an ATAC uh, um, um, broadcast. And it's in high definition, right off the air. You don't need a digital converter receiver. It's built in on the television. Every television has it now these days. But be careful. When you're buying a TV, see if it has a built-in tuner or it might just say monitor. If it's a monitor, you, you got to have a cable box. No, I got it already built in. The reason having two keyboard and mouse is that I really, really need an Android operating system. I do have a Linux uh, bull dupe on my tower, but... In my com my computer, I really needed an Android, something I can sync my cell phone. I mean, look, I got I got three different phones that I swap my SIM cards. Of course, I use my HTC, you know, or my iPhone, which I barely use. Um, congratulations to the winner! I'm already giving away my PlayStation 4. Yes, I got PlayStation 4. 
I only had it for a month, and um, somebody gave me a great comment, and I'm shipping it to him. He's just paying for the shipping. Uh, I do do giveaways, all right? I mean, if you look into my uh, YouTube video, I do a lot of giveaways and stuff like that. And sometimes I do sell things on whatever I have in my collection, who is a true fan, and I sell it to them to a decent price. Even autographs and stuff. Like, for example, I got Manny Pacquiao's autograph on my mouse pad, and I'm using it because I'm going to use it. I am not just going to be, like, preserving it thing on the wall. All these game boxes are actually open. Now, the reason why I got these key two keyboard and mouses is that I have an Android box on the side. So, it's actually a safe way for me to go to unsecured website, and I still have my window screen on the side, so I can just drag this and move it over here if I want to, if I want to use this as my, mon uh, what do you call it, stay a monitor, and then here. I have Kodi installed for my uh, viewing pleasure, so I can watch movies and everything like that, and this box is actually Wi-Fi or direct e Ethernet port, and I'm using direct Ethernet port. I listen to my podcast, my music, uh, karaoke, uh, I do have Genesis in here, uh, I don't know why it doesn't show here, but all I have to do is go to files, and then uh, uh, go to my video add-ons, and then there's Genesis, there we go, and then I can use a mouse, and everything like that, and I got all of the best of both worlds, so if I want to exit, I just go exit right here, ta-da. Uh. All right, all right, and then now I'm back to my Android interface. This is an Android 4.0. I wish I can get the new KitKat because I don't want to go through the trouble of installing an Android OS on my PC because drivers is very hard to get to make your computer work with it. So I'd rather just get a hundred dollar box and put all my effort on trying to reinstall or install things because most PC gamers now these days mess around and king around with their settings more than even playing the game alright and what's inside the guts I wish I can prove it because this thing is molded in there because I'm not upgrading this computer anymore I do have an A series processor that's an A10 uh, it's an A10 7870 I used to have the 5800K which is this one and my previous processor I do keep the original boxes that I have I used to have a R R5 2200 just to do a crossfire, and I even had a, a, an R7 250 to crossfire with my A10. But now I am still using my A10 processor and actually using a 7900 um, uh, Radeon. That's so that's my graphics card right now. To prove it to you guys, I do have that. Uh, let me um, change. Um, oh yeah, my the, the output on the the Android box is on 720p. Uh, so let me go back to my Windows. I'm back on my friend Facebook, and all right. And then what do you call it? My Radeon settings. There we go. Uh, let me go to my additional settings. Where is my additional settings? Well, I'll just instead of just going to there. I'll just go straight to Direct PC and find out from there. Um, my scaling as you can see in my device manager my display adapter is a R. I have an R9 200 HD 7900 series graphics card with cross firing with my built-in A10 processor with the R7 graphics so it actually is fluent gameplay amazingly done I use an Xbox 360 controller to play my 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 latest games that are fighting games uh, I do not use uh, this controller on first-person shooting. It's impossible. It's really impossible to play games like that. So, like if I'm playing Homefront or Mortal Kombat X, I do have Mortal Kombat X, but I'm not going to do any um, uh, demos right now. See, it's using my... Uh, so it shows how much memory... That's why I have the third monitor here, to see how much usage of my users, you know? I mean, I mean how much resources is using on my computer. So, that's it. Let me quit the game. I have other controllers because I'm a big emulation fan. I have an NES USB, Super Nintendo USB, and I do have a converter just in case for my legacy games for my DOSBox gamings. So, this is a complete update of my computer setup. I still have the same setup like my Robocop toys, 
my Lego and my Terminator lineup. Yes, this is Arnold, the first Arnold Schwarzenegger from Terminator 1 and the new T-1000. Um, Robert Patrick T-1000. Todd McFarlane action figures and all that. So I even got the replica of Robocop guns and I do have doubles of these toys because I do have them in their original packages. But I thank you guys for watching and please put a like button. If you don't like it, whatever, it's okay. I really thank you guys for your support and I'll see you soon in my next video. My next review is going to be uh, Wipeout on the PC CD-ROM. Thank you.